I don't know who this is for, maybe for all of you. And uh, it's going to take me just a minute. Yes, just this. I'm going I'm to read this to you. If you don't mind, it, it's not long. You can stay standing. <clears throat> okay. A person should realize the futility of life, the treadmill futility of the American dream. They should come to their senses and hate their life. I'm talking about unborn again people, first off, okay? <clears throat> Which could, would mean having to make sure that they can take care of themselves. Tired of living the dog-eat-dog -dog life of the natural human. And they should start looking for a way out. Amen? I'm talking about, again, unborn again people. That's what they should do. Now, for those of you that are here, watching, listening, in, in whatever fashion. <clears throat> Maybe you have been addicted to alcohol, drugs, porn, food. Maybe even you've been addicted to approval of people. Maybe because of low self-esteem, for whatever reason, you're addicted to someone that constantly puts you down or maybe someone that you constantly try to win their approval of and yet you never seem to measure up. You're never quite good enough. Always trying to win a single compliment from maybe a parent that's always preferred the other sibling another brother or sister over you. Maybe you're a husband or a wife that always hears, why can't you be like so-and-so? <clears throat> Jesus told me to write this down for you, whoever you are. And it may be the majority, I don't know. I just know he told me to write this down and read it to you. He knows everything. He knows you. He knows everything about you. And he loves you anyway. So, if all that, if any of that is true for you, then this part is also true. And mainly for you. Today, make a decision. Receive his absolute, total, and unending unconditional love for you right now. Now notice he has absolute, total, unending, unconditional love. We're not saying that there's an unconditional salvation. There are conditions to salvation. But his love will be unending and total and you don't have to measure up for him to love you, for him well, yeah, just to love you. But just lay down your trying and just let him love you. Just, just put down that trying to measure up. Trying to win that person's approval. And just let him love you. Put, pull, you know, pull down the barriers. Pull down the, 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 the isolation. <clears throat> the key to life is living in that place. Of his love. Not of you trying to be accepted. Or trying to measure up. But knowing at all times. You know what? Other people may not know me. They may not like me. They may, they may not like me because they know me. Who knows? But regardless, Jesus knows me and he doesn't just like me. He loves me. And he's there for me no matter what. People, now listen carefully. People will put qualifications on your acceptance. On whether they love you or not. God doesn't. And Christians don't. Hear that? People do, and they will. But God and Christians do not put qualifications on whether they love you. Now, He knows everything about you and loves you anyway. He knows every mistake that you've made. He loves you anyway. He knows every mistake you're going to make today. He loves you anyway. He knows every mistake. You're going to make tomorrow, next week, next month, and he loves you anyway. Think about that. He knows how many mistakes you're going to make. He not only knows the hairs on your head, he knows how many mistakes you're going to make between now and when you see him face to face. And he still loves you. Isn't that amazing? God is for you. He told me to tell you to read 1 Corinthians 13. 
and know that that's not just talking about characteristics of a Christian. That's his DNA. 1 Corinthians 13 is his DNA. That's what he is all the time. You got that? Not when you measure up. Not when you achieve. Not when you attain. That's how he is towards you all the time. Every day, he starts, and it's amazing even how he, wrote, how he gave this to me. Because I wrote it down exactly as I heard it. Every day, he starts your day with favor and mercy. He doesn't start his day with it. He doesn't have a day. He's beyond time. But every day, he starts your day with loving kindness, with favor and mercy. He starts it with love, with gentleness towards you. You don't have to win his favor every day, each day. Remember that. You don't, you don't start every day trying to win his favor that day. You got that? You start your day with his favor. With his loving kindness is toward you. Already. Already. <clears throat> He's not like your earthly father, mother, husband, wife, that you have to prove yourself. You don't have to prove yourself to him. He already knows what's in you. So that frees you to just live the life he has put in you. Now, knowing that you're going to make mistakes. You're going to mess up. You're going to make failures. You're, you're going to sow wrong seed. But even in the middle of that, he is with you. He is for you. And even if you've sown some wrong seed and you've reaped from that, he is with you in the reaping to carry you through it until that is past. And he can carry you through it. Amen? So just know, and I don't know who that's for. I mean, it, it could fit everybody in this room. Right? But apparently there were some people either here or watching by internet. Specifically, I know there were some specific people that needed to hear that today. And the main thing was the sibling thing that really stood out. That you've always tried to win the favor of a parent. That they've always shown that favor to another sibling. And it's caused you to have a performance mentality that you always try to live up to something. And you're always waiting to hear them say, good job, I'm proud of you. And you never hear it. And instead, the other sibling can do nothing and you'll hear it, right? Now, listen, I know this is from God because I have no brothers or sisters, right? I'm an only child, which, you know, that means you just need to pray more for my wife, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, <clears throat> anyway, so the fact that he would say that, I know it's specifically for people. But just know, if Jesus is your Lord, if you are God's son or daughter, you don't have to measure up. He's already proud of you. He is pleased with you. I'm not saying, and, and you have to understand, he loves you no matter what. Amen? Even, even when you were on your way to hell, he loved you. And he did everything he could to head you the other direction. Amen? Amen. So, just know he's for you. And if you never hear, listen... You may never hear that earthly parent say, well done. But you will hear him say it. Amen? Amen? Yeah. And that's what counts. So, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we bless these people. That your blessings will be seen in their lives, in and through them. And that your will will be accomplished in and through their lives, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.